Well, new tonight, it's been 60 years since photographer O. Winston Link captured history right here in the Shenandoah Valley. Yeah, he took pictures like these and he led the way when it comes to nighttime photography of the last steam trains to roll through our area. His work still inspiring photographers today. Sean Hoyton has been following in Link's tracks for about 10 years now. I mean, I'd heard the name before, but I didn't associate his name with nighttime photography. It was it wasn't until a couple years later that's when I, I made the connection. His work on photos like this one in Strasbourg is inspired by Link's groundbreaking shots taken 60 years ago of the Norfolk and Western's last steam trains. Link's photos were taken up and down the Shenandoah Valley, including this one of the tracks going across Route 340, just north of the town of Luray. And in Luray, you can see all the technology, how it worked together with these flash bulbs and the wires connecting it to the camera. And it's that technology from nearly 60 years ago that's still preserved here at the the Owen Winston Link Museum in Roanoke. Thomas Garver helped Link pull off these iconic nighttime photographs. When Winston saw the Norfolk and Western Railway, he said, I want to photograph this and I want to make it my own work of art. The technology used to replicate these photos in the valley has changed about as much as the scenes have themselves, like this one in Luray. Garver recalls just how difficult it was setting up these shots in the 1950s. Of course, Winston used a large camera. It, it took a negative that was four by five inches in, in size. Today, Sean has it a little easier. He doesn't have the luxury of being able to look on the back of the camera seconds after the photo has been taken to see if it worked. With some help from a friend and a guard dog for the wait, Boyden shows us how it's done around the depot in Clark County as night falls. The wireless setup only takes a few minutes compared to the hours Garver and Link would spend getting ready for a shoot. It's like some huge Christmas lighting uh, system uh, that was set up just uh, for an instant's use because these bulbs uh, lighted brilliantly and were burned out in a, in a matter of a few thousandths of a second. But unlike the photos Link captured, his big thing was taking pictures of Americana or taking pictures of people and the trains were just part of the scene. It's real hard to find those, uh, those scenes that just scream America to you. Which is why, like Link, he keeps searching for that perfect picture. When I get that shot, when I look at it, it's just like, bam, holy cow, did it, you know. Following the tracks laid long ago by this pioneer in Clark County, Channing Frampton, WHSV. And you can find a slideshow of the photos by Sean and by O. Winston Link. And you can see more of his work here in the Valley with this story. It's at www.onlyonwhsv.com.